Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Omar and today we will be working on uh, Atom built in SolidWorks. Uh, I'll also share the link of the file which you can download from my uh, GrabCan account. So let's go to SolidWorks and uh, here is my model. And here you can see from a design tree that I have used uh, some very basic commands like revolve, cut extrude and the reference plane, circular pattern, fillet. So let's go to new, uh, uh, go to file, go to new and select part and click OK. And now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface. First of all, I'll change my background to plain white and we are using an MGS. Uh, let's go to front pane. First, we'll make the basic uh, uh, outer rim of the... Uh, uh, first of all, we'll uh, make the basic outline of the rim, uh, the outer diameter. So let's select line tool here. First, we'll make uh, a basic sketch without dimension. Uh, here and let's say here, here, and here. Okay. Uh, let's dimension this. The dimension from here to here it could be uh, two fifty four millimeters. Okay. And the uh, dimension of this is 5 millimeters. Dimension from uh, here to here is uh, 20 millimeters. And this angle is uh, let's say 60 degree. And uh, let's say the length of this line is uh, 20. And the angle would be. Uh, 120 degree. Let's change it to 120. And, uh, this angle would also be 120. But first, I will dimension this line, and it would be 100. And this line would be also 120. Okay. Uh, next is this line would be bigger. Uh, 70 millimeters. And let's change it to 70 and let's make uh, this one also 5 and the dimension from let's say here to here it was uh, 20 and the angle is uh, angle was uh, I think I will find angle from here uh, sorry angle from here to here uh, it could be 60 uh, it is still underdefined as you can see that uh, most lines are uh, blue so let's say uh, let's make uh, this dimension and you can see that uh, it is not uh, constrained in this direction so control z and, uh, uh, select this line, hold shift key and make uh, collinear. Now you can see that this is uh, uh, defined, right? Uh, now th this line, uh, I can drag this, control Z. And now I will give the uh, uh, whole length. Uh, this would be the whole uh, diameter and it would be, I think, 250. Right. Uh, now you can see that the sketch is turned into black and you can see here as well, it is fully defined. So click here and now I will offset my geometry because I will be using a solid revolve so uh, I will be uh, I will be required uh, uh, close contour so let's go to sketch tab and here we we'll select this offset entity uh, first I will let's say give some fillet to these edges fillet of 4 uh, radius select a whole geometry and click OK and click uh, uh, let's go to offset and uh, let's uh, uh, let's make offset of 3 uh, the whole uh, geometry and click reverse and uh, uh, click click here caps and lines not arcs right uh, now i can make a solid revolve and i will also need a center line mm, okay uh, let's go to features revolve select this line and uh, click this. I will make a revolve of 360 degree. Uh, 
uh, a complete wall right uh, next is uh, i will be required a surface here and uh, so let's make a surface uh, let's go to sketch and let's select uh, front plane and uh, i will make a let's say uh, style spline and set this point let's say this point this point this point and uh, up to here right let's uh, select the line tool again and uh, i will make a line uh, okay i will make a line here right let's select this point and this point and make horizontal right let's make a dimension of uh, 155 millimeters and the dimension from this point to this origin it would be 30 millimeters right and uh, let's make uh, some more dimensions let's say the dimension from here to here uh, it would be 30 also and the dimension from uh, let's say here to here it would be let's say 100 mm and the dimension form let's say here to here it would also be 100 mm right and dimension from this top point to this point uh, it could be uh, 94 mm right i have uh, i have calculated these and uh, let's say dimension from uh, this point let's say from origin to this point uh, it would be 60 uh, in this direction it will be 10 right and i have another dimension let's say dimension from this point to this point and it would be let's say 85 millimeters right uh, you can see that this uh, uh, spline is turned into black and you can see that uh, my current sketch is fully defined right uh, now i will uh, sketch uh, here a line and dimension would be 72 uh, and a half and now i will make uh, some uh, uh, convert entities right select this hidden lines with uh, visible and i will convert these lines select these uh, this line hold control key select this line uh, hold control key this line and uh, uh, up to here right and select this convert entities and now select line tool and uh, in fact uh, this as well and now i will make a line that will join this spline to this point right uh, still it is not a, cl a close one tool and uh, now i will make uh, an arc select three point arc select this point and uh, let's say select this point and we'll make an arc of a radius 50 millimeters right change it to 50 uh, let's uh, let's delete this sorry uh, okay so let's go to a three point arc again and uh, let's join these and let's make a smart dimension 90 millimeters right and now i will make uh, a fillet and the fillet will be this time 10 millimeters click ok and uh, you can see that it is a close one right and now i can make another uh, solid wall. so let's go to features let's go to reward for space and let's select this line and now uh, it will complete a 360 degree reward with merge result right if uh, i uncheck this box so it will create two uh, different values. Uh, so click here and now uh, we have two uh, sorry we have one uh, solid body because we have merged these two solid bodies right. Uh, next is uh, we create uh, uh, some holes here. So select sketch and select this flat plane and uh, select circle and we will make a circle here and circle here right. And the dimensions would be, let's say, this would be 150, and this would be one. Uh, this would be, I think, 75. Half of this, right? Uh, let's go to features, 
and let's go to extruded cut and let's make a cut of uh, 150 millimeters click ok uh, next is uh, I will use the same sketch and I will make another cut and this time I will use this contour not this contour right so I go to contours and I will uh, kill the selection and I will select this right and I will make uh, uh, throughout click yes now you can see this right uh, next is uh, I will make a plane uh, 100 millimeters away from uh, the origin so I will make a plane let's go to the geometry plane and let's select uh, the right plane and uh, make a flip okay so uh, we we'll make uh, uh, holes here as well so click plane uh, sketch and uh, uh, normal and uh, let's make a circle uh, circle would be I think 120 millimeters and it would be a construction circle or a PCD uh, that is a pitch circle dia so I will make it to construction we we'll make uh, two circles uh, here and it would be uh, the circle of the wheel cap right so let's make it uh, 24 and uh, the other would be half of the 24 that is uh, sorry that is 12 right and uh, now I will first hide the plane and uh, now I can make some uh, cut uh, uh, cut extrusion or uh, negative extrusion so let's select uh, this and uh, make reverse and let's change it to 70 right click ok uh, next is I will use the same uh, sketch and I will make a throughout uh, cut and let's go to this command and this time reverse not this contour and I will kill the filler section and I will select this one right and I will make a throughout uh, cut extrusion Right, so next is uh, we will make uh, uh, five uh, patterns. So select circular pattern and uh, the direction would be let's say this. You can choose any circle, let's say this circle or this circle, uh, but not this circle because it is not concentric. And I will make uh, I will select let's say this one and this one. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I need uh, five number of uh, holes, so I will go to circular pattern and I will change uh, this pattern to five. Right? You can make four as well uh, if you want. So lastly, uh, I will make uh, some holes here, uh, some cut extrusion as well. So let's go to uh, like, uh, this plane that is uh, uh, this plane. Select the sketch and the normal. Okay. Uh, so first I will make a circle of uh, diameter 450 and change it to 450 and let's make a center line uh, here and, uh, okay so let's go to uh, arc tool three point arc and we'll make an arc uh, right and let's go to three point arc again and we'll make another arc uh, this arc would be tangent to first arc right and uh, the dimension uh, would be uh, 20 and this dimension would be let's say uh, this dimension would be 700 right this is quite a big arc so I will uh, I will drag this arc to here right select this uh, center of this and the whole shift key and uh, make it coincident right and this would be here right these two uh, would be parallel and uh, next is uh, I will make another dimension let's say dimension from here to here is uh, 20 and uh, okay uh, the dimension from this point to this point it would be 40 now you can see that uh, uh, it is fully defined so let's go to let's say mirror entities 
select this and about mirror this one click ok right so first is done and now i will make another uh, ske uh, another sketch and it could be let's say uh, 22.5 so i will select this center line this center line and i will make 22.5 degree right and uh, okay let's draw this to here and uh, we make uh, another three point arc here to here and the dimension would be 150 millimeters and let's drag this to here okay let's make the dimension from this point to this point and uh, it would be aligned dimension and it is 32.8 millimeters and let's drag this to here okay let's make uh, another uh, three point R and it could be let's say also 20 millimeter so it to 20 and you can see that it is also 20 and select this R hold shift key and make it tangent right and uh, let's say select like this center of the R hold shift key and make it coincident right and also this point and this point and we make a dimension of 175 right and you can see that this sketch is turned into black which is which means it is good it is fully defined right uh, i can make another uh, mirror select this mirror about this line and click ok uh, select this point select this point and we'll make merge right so we are done with this and uh, let's uh, trim this portion so go to trim tool trim entities trim this one and trim this one as well right uh, we make uh, some fillet let's say we make a fillet of five and uh, i will set uh, these two points uh, these four points click ok and we cancel okay uh, we are done so let's uh, move our model uh, sorry let's rotate our model and So let's select uh, this tool, extruded cut, and select this profile, and uh, let's go to contour, clear section, and reverse, and make throughout. Right? And you can see that it could be throughout uh, uh, cut extrusion. Uh, next uh, is uh, we'll make uh, some fillet. Let's select fillet tool, and uh, let's make. Uh, uh, let's make a 4 millimeter, in fact, uh, 2 millimeter flip. Select this, select this. Uh, now we make a circular pattern of this. Select uh, circular pattern. And uh, go to design tree. Select this one and this one and make 8. Click OK and now we are done we are done with this uh, we can make some fillets over here as well so to flip tool and uh, we can make uh, let's see uh, uh, i can make it manual this one this one and this one okay okay and we are done uh, Next is we can apply and the shadows and now I will go to materials cast iron cast alloy steel okay uh, so we are done with this uh, uh, modeling of uh, automobile rim and uh, let's go to key shot. And uh, in fact, tools go to Keyshot 9 and send this model to Keyshot for that. Uh, so, just cancel this, and uh, Keyshot is uh, importing our geometry from SolidWorks. And I'm using Keyshot add in. Uh, here, you can see that this. Uh, 
shadow is not correct so i will right click this and uh, move model move upward and uh, i will select this snap to ground right and uh, expand this to here okay uh, so let's uh, uh, let's make a duplicate of it right uh, right click and let's say uh, let's select this duplicate part and uh, we will make say we make a 90 degree uh, rotation let's change it to 90 let's change it to 90 and also uh, it is not a snap to ground so i will select this part move part and snap to ground. now it is a snap to ground but it is still uh, intersecting so move model and i will move to uh, move part not move model uh, move part this one and i will move it to there right okay uh, so next uh, we can apply some materials uh, to this uh, rim let's uh, press uh, m for materials uh, let's go to let's say metals and uh, uh, let's search uh, iron uh, we can make uh, aluminum as well so let's select uh, let's say uh, iron duff and uh, we make uh, the same uh, material uh, click yes okay so let's uh, let's change our background let's make uh, uh, I think it's fine and let's change our background to white and uh, let's change perspective fine okay uh, next is uh, yeah uh, uh, we can apply some uh, different uh, HDRIs but uh, I'll make uh, things simple so let's go to render and uh, so let's change it to uh, let's say uh, 256 and uh, let's go to output and I will be using 300 dpi's let's change uh, this directory to uh, let's say uh, background uh, uh, desktop set folder ok and now click then so that's it for uh, today's tutorial i hope you like it if you have any questions uh, regarding this uh, tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos thank you